So great dramas, we've got something a little bit different for you today. This time we're going to go with a gin and tonic, fresh from Manchester, called Thomas Dakin. Small batch gin, uh, launched about 18 months ago, and is described as a juniper forward gin, or juniper led gin. Um, as you'll see from the bottle itself, it is smoky grey, uh, with very, very big statement red on it. Lovely, uh, lovely label to it, very industrial revolution, which is actually uh, where Thomas Dakin, or when Thomas Dakin, was actually one of the pioneers of uh, gin distilling up in the north of England. Um, so today we're going to have a little sip, a little taste, and see how we get on. So as always with a gin tasting, when you're trying something a little bit different, especially in celebration of uh, St George's Day, it'd be rude not to try this soon to be famous British gin, neat, before adding the tonic. So we'll just pour a little bit in, get around the glass. Now those oh, juniper, coriander, orange zest, as well as lots and lots of lime actually. Ooh. Slight spice on the nose, but nothing too much. Quite sweet, but not in a, it's a sweet gin uh, way. It's more from what I'd imagine to be, and I've got no idea if it's true or not, but imagine to be the licorice botanical being used, which opens up a lot of sweetness and adds a lot of the rounding to uh, any gin uh, that uses licorice. Um, it's got beautiful, beautiful spice wrapped up in all that sweet citrusy notes. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning gin. Right, let's get on with the tonic. So, put in a generous amount of Thomas Dakin. Not bad. We've gone with naturally light fever tree tonic for this one, uh, just to bring out the gin itself. 125 ml is the recommended serve, which is roughly that. And although the brand serve is with an orange peel, I'm actually going with strawberries today because it's a beautiful spring day on the, the River Thames out in Kew with a gorgeous backdrop of water, bridges, pubs and all that kind of stuff. So let's just get involved. And there goes the strawberry. Yeah. So let's swirl it around and see how we get on. So as they describe it as a juniper forward or juniper led gin, you're actually getting a ton of citrus notes in there, especially orange and orange zest, orange kind of almost a triumvirate of uh, citrus from the lime to the lemon and of course the orange again. Um, also in there, very earthy, quite horseradishy, um, or coal as they describe it uh, in, the, uh, in the notes, but it's the same thing essentially. And quite a lovely spicy aftertaste on it. Uh, about a medium, uh, medium length finish, but incredibly refreshing. Um, so I'm gonna go back in for another. Really well balanced, really well rounded. God, I could sip that all day. Absolutely stunning. So really well balanced, really well structured. It's got good beef to it, about 42% ABV. When you add the tonic, it really stands up to it. You get a lot of multi-layered kind of flavor profiles and you're going right through that citrus hierarchy, leading to the kind of spicy, more adventurous, enjoyable finish. Um, absolutely love it. Cheers Thomas Dakin and happy St George's Day.